Guys, this is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's crazy to think about because... Wow, did we get so much to uncover. Whether it's... The Death Star in the Ocean, or... The fact that the lightsaber's back. Yeah, the, the, the same one that was a Jordan Last Jedi. Oh wait! I almost forgot! This is the Black Clover Podcast. Yeah. Star Wars did happen, you guys. Star Wars did happen, and boy, did Rise of the Skywalk, which is a title, by the way, was surprising in some cases. Most obvious one, you'll already know. But, hey, you guys, what is up? Lucky G7 is here today to give you guys another... Black Clover podcast, which is is pretty crazy to see what's been going on there, especially with one specific troll. Yeah, that troll, <laughs> that troll in particular, quite something everyone's been talking about for a very very long time. Before we get to that troll, you guys know the drill. I can't really do these podcasts by myself. I mean. Yes, technically I could, but what fun would that be? What fun would it be just to have me here by myself, like every other YouTuber, talking about a series when I could be doing that with a buddy, a friend? So, I've brought with me a special friend and a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Greetings, everyone. This time I am feeling better, and it is I, Sparta 3G, chapter we have here. It feels like we were a chapter later because this feels like the, the 200 chapters biggest surprise. I mean, like the other one was pretty good. Don't get me wrong. It's just that the old fan theories or even a fan's troll theory, kind of like how Naruto fans used to have their own version of the spoilers where for whatever reason, every sport is contained a Zetsu character <laughs> inserted. I don't know why. That's but true. that seems to be the case. That's, that seems to be the case in the in a once upon a time. But now we have this series with his own set of troll, or maybe this is a real theory from a lot of people that consider that, that concern with a bird. A bird that seems like the greatest troll of all time ends up being the most important thing in the universe. We're going to talk about that, but yeah, that's surprising, to say the least. You got your thoughts on this? I got my thoughts on this, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. We are most definitely going to talk about that. But of course, before we get to that, we got to build this up. We got to build it up from the very beginning of the chapter. Chapter 201. Yeah, the title of the chapter is called The Shadow Palace Top Floor, which, funny enough, I didn't actually check out the chapter title, so... Huh. Quite interesting, in fact. The devil, who we thought actually escaped, still continuing that. So he's there, he notices the door, he's like, Phew, that must be it. The door to the outside. And then we see an elf just standing before him on some... Well, we find out it's lit. Yeah. Like, the lit. The real lit's there. And he, to quote Gandalf, like, You shall not pass. I mean, <laughs> no, I just laugh because it's just so funny to me. Actually, there was another series that did the similar thing. I was like, is it really quoting that? <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly what he says, but yeah, it felt that way. <laughs> Maybe the Viz version would say that because you never know. Sometimes they like to insert their own wordings. It's like, 
Hey, look, I made a reference. It's possible. I'll keep my eye on Sunday, if anything. If, if that happens on Sunday, I'm going to be like, I'm like, just leave it up there. Like, By the way, Lid said you shall not pass. Not <laughs> pass. <laughs> if you guys have not checked out the Lord of the Rings trilogy, what do you guys do right now? Check that out. It's really good. <laughs> huh. But There's the devil... elves. <laughs> but yeah, actually, that's yeah, there are elves. Huh. Funny enough. <laughs> yeah. So you're still not fully awakened. You just won't accept me, hmm? Well, I suppose it's natural. After all the grimoire that I couldn't get from you, I ended up getting from someone precious to you. Showcasing the the grimoire that Pottery had. And I know we just started off the chapter, but that is kind of interesting that he said it that way. He like, he's like, you're still not fully awakened. You just won't accept me. So... I mean, I, I guess that's implying that um, Lit from all those years ago got corrupted by by the um by the devil, which, if you look at it in that context, would explain the grim war that Asta has because that was originally Lit's. So, I mean, well, Sparta, do you want to give your um two cents on this? Well, it feels like it it connects well to the idea that Lich has that sore, which is negates anything that's reincarnation. Maybe it's more like more of a re releasing demon, demonic magic from them, more so than the reincarnation itself. Like maybe this is more of removal of the demonic powered part. You know, like it's like in a more uh, detailed way. Like okay, because we because a lot of people have the assumption maybe this this sword he has. Which is delete the um what Asta has with which is delete the the idea like oh you've been reincarnated to this person's body let me just stab you with this and it would delete you from that but maybe it's more like uh, a specific entity and this one probably be the case of demonic thing so if you go by what the this devil say that he doesn't accept them maybe he has been like str struggling against him for the past ages or at least the, so during the time where he first got the five five leaf clover one so even if it if it, even if it, this lich is still in a half state not not fully awakened or whatever he still won't accept the devil because well maybe he just hates him through and through when i mean you gotta remember how the you gotta remember what they said in the backstory the first em magic emperor and him they were working together to get rid of the devil um, I'm not sure how the devil first spawned. I mean, going based on like, I mean, it gotta be from Lich. That's the only idea. If we, if we go back to how the five leaf clover are, how, how they are spawned. If we go by that basis, that means something had must have happened in order to awaken the devil in the first place. Unless there's something else that, that came from like, uh, unless this devil or the other devil. I'm not sure how many devil there is. I'm not sure this devil is the exact same one as before. Should be, right? So maybe it, however it spawned first, they've he and the first uh, Lich and the first Magic Emperor try to figure out the way to negate that, to destroy it. But instead of like just seal it, they would destroy it, but they couldn't find a way. Maybe like over time they managed to just have a removal, like a negate magic, uh, a negate magic sword that negate the demonic magic entity. But I'm I'm only assuming that because you know I still don't know what how exactly this devil spawned in the first place. Well, not right now. One I'm talking about wait way back then. Yeah, from back we don't back. know. Right, we don't know how that spawned. We don't know how Lich has this five leaf clover in the first place. And let, let me let alone we don't even know why Asta is the one that has it now. It's like, is it like one of those cases? Like, if a person dies, the Grimoire goes to another person. How does that work? And never it hasn't really established to my knowledge. I mean, if it does, then I, I guess I gotta find that chapter. But if it doesn't, then I guess we're gonna we're bound to learn something new eventually, especially if something <laughs> something a big revelation that happens at the end of the chapter. So. Anything is possible now. I just gotta keep on waiting. Yeah, right. 
the craziest thing too. <laughs> yeah, like, like the devil's like just there. Like even with your soul becoming unstable after bringing forth that being, I'm surprised you still made it this far. <laughs> Truly amazing. I must reward you for all your hard work. So I will kill you properly. Lightning fit. Yeah, okay, so then we get into a little bit of a scuffle between the two, which is actually pretty good because you got the devil going in, you got Padre. I said Padre. Wow. Um, lit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we, we got used to the other guy for so long. <laughs> Thanks, so, Tomata. Yeah, that was a. <laughs> I mean, which is funny because Patoli did go go use the name Lich for a while, and then ends up being not Lich, and then this real Lich comes out, and now we call him Patoli. Uh, oh boy, what the hell! <laughs> it's like, damn it, fused us now. <laughs> You're right. Like, you, just wait until like Patri gets there, and then it's gonna be like, oh, you blit. No, I mean, <laughs> that's okay. <what they're> <laughs> That's a help that they both have five leaf clover now. Well, technically one do, but still. Yeah. <laughs> so you got lit going in. The devil's like using blade storm, be crushed, and be bound. So he's kind of performing the same trick that he used on Pawtree a few chapters ago, actually. Even that sword that can absorb magic is ill suited against physical attacks, isn't it? Iron Spear. My power word magic is capable of summoning physical matter. For someone like you with just one sword, I dare say there is little you can hope to do. And oh, hacks on that. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Physical matters. It's like, damn. I thought you could just do magic. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. He just did physical matters earlier, but still, it's like just the idea that he could just say anything and be like, oh, okay, that's going to happen. Damn, like. I'd like actually like having the ability to like forge swords from like within the palm of your hand. It's like, huh? What the hell? <laughs> like, what, what, is, <laughs> like, what kind of bolt? Like, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, you can pull a sword, you can pull an axe, you can pull a grenade. Like, <laughs> what? Well, um, if people pull a grenade, but like, okay, so I am really want to question the timeline of this universe now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if you put a grenade, guns, I mean, I don't know. Uh, what series did that? I feel like that was a water. series that put out something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would kill himself if you use holy water. Like, oh, shit, I kill myself. Yeah, right. That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, you got the devil going like, farewell, elven chief. And then we see some petals, more, more or less, petal <laughs> And, which is kind of like the fading the attack, and then the devil's like, oh, there's another elf here, apart from the Apostle of the Sephiria. After seeing Bobble enter the Shadow Palace, I followed. Upon finding Bobble collapse unconscious, I thought that something was wrong. And we see Charlotte. Well, elf Charlotte, I should say. And she's like, mm -hmm. you're, a, you're a devil, aren't you? Hey, she... Better off not using a helmet <laughs> for the f for foreseeable future. I'm just saying. <laughs> Actually, no, the, the funny thing is, I was, I was oh, and a knot, and a knot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the, I was actually going to comment on that too. I'm like, you know, she actually looks better without the helmet on. <laughs> without the helmet, yeah. Actually, she still has a knot, but the long hair really helps. <laughs> it's the helmet that really put the 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 hinder hinder her. I guess you could say beauty. And hey, I'm just saying because Yami. Does appear at the long so <laughs> <laughs> the so long. I know I was just about to get to that too. He's like, hang on, devil. You really don't think something like that exists in this world, do you? Either way, and then yup, Yami is there and he's he got the he got the yeah, he got the katana out, like I just don't like the look of him. And you know, mm -hmm. I was just kind of thinking among the massive Mana presence. Nozel after Nozel went after the other one. I followed this one and found whatever the hell this thing is. So basically, that's kind of confirming that yeah, the, both Nozel and Yami did kind of meet up to some of the capacity. Yeah, so basically the lat. Hmm? 
No, go on with what you're going to say. I was saying like those two chapters ago, it basically, it was what you think it was. It was like they split up and those other went to the one where Asta and Yuno was at. While Yami went to where the devil was going to. So that confirms it. Yep. That's what happened. And the devil like just thinks it's like, huh, he's filled with nothing. Actually, no. No, 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 no. That's, that's Yami thing. Like, Yami, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's filled with nothing but pure malice. And then the devil's like, every last one of you is just so lively, aren't you? Then he got Charlotte. Human, did you come all this way to get in my way again? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you're, you're just here to come and stop me. It's like, I've got plenty I want to ask you and want to say to you, but first things first, let's take care of that thing, yeah? Whatever else may be up to the bait, there's one thing we know for sure that is evil. And then you got Charlotte saying, if you can't keep up, I'm leaving you for dead. To which, you got Yami saying, when it comes to these extremes, we're pretty alike, I'd say. Same goes for you. Don't you even think of harming a hair on that body. Mm-hmm. Mm, I wonder that's implying. <laughs> I know, right? I was like, I, I, you know, I wonder. Um, I, I'm assuming they don't remember these um, people who are possessed by elves based on the other characters, I think. <laughs> It'd be funny if uh, only Charlotte would actually remember. But like, wait, I just heard something very romantic in her or her own vision and then it's like oh shit i i actually work together with yami and and it complimented me in some form of way <laughs> and hey. actually protected my body like oh dear <laughs> oh boy i mean hey if if they don't remember after being possessed then close call i don't know depends how you see it if you're a parry fan damn it if you're not a parry fan you i don't know <laughs> i don't know how you feel about that <laughs> but yeah. hey fate point. brought them together and yeah hey fate brought them together even though one is an elf and the other one is just himself but we'll see what happens in the aftermath anything mm-hmm. is possible <laughs> anything is possible <laughs> maybe after this entire arc she's like i want to help you Mm, maybe we get rid of the helmet, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> so then the devil says, flame wave. And Yami goes in, dark magic black hole, dark cloak, Avidia slash to which you got the devil countering again with blade storm. And then you got Charlotte's coming up with her magic too. Be withered. Which- That's from the devil. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So that's what the devil said. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> and the devil further goes with dark cloaked dimension slash. Actually, no, that's yummy. God damn it. That's yummy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, okay, all you need to know is that when the devil does his attack, it's always like quotes. <laughs> that's true. And yeah. yeah, and you know anything else is from the other characters. So in this case, Yami did the slash, did the dark cloak dimension slash, which is and cool. Managed to take out his. Yeah, and he managed to cut his wing and his arm that was holding the grimoire. He's cool. like, oh no, <laughs> I've been decapitated. Okay, not decapitated, but I've lost a limb. Oh no. And been de- <laughs> he has yet to change his expression. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's something, I don't know, that, I feel that's kind of scary because it's like, everything like, seems oh, like a game. No, I was just like, could you imagine if there was like an Omagi with the scene happening? And the devil was like, oh shit, I can't fly. Wait, what the fuck is Ishida would do? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just wondering is like, if he lose in this arc, will he actually change the expression or he would just keep on with that permanent smile in some way? <laughs> oh, you beat me. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, if that smile stays, how would you feel? <laughs> Well, somebody really has a permanent smile. I mean, it's not the first time I see a character that's like that. Maybe in this series, it's the first time. Yeah, the other series, there was a, there's another series. The running gag is that the guy speaks, but you never see his mouth move ever. And he always smiling no matter what happens. I don't know how it was translated in the anime version because I never got to see it. But 
it is rather funny to see a character that literally has a permanent face and never really changed at all. But you know, he does talk. It's not like he's mind reading or anything. He really does talk. But in manga wise, you always see him in a, in a very, very uh, frozen state. I don't know. It, it is kind of humorous. But um, what the devil? I mean, geez, I guess he. no matter what happens to him, he always win in, in a way. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, so far, he, every damage he takes, he, he finds this amusing more so than like, oh, no, I got to run away. And I like how the spoiler chapter <laughs> that was that was read for um chapter two hundred. It was saying like, "Oh, Yuna shows up, and now the devil is scared as hell." <laughs> like, okay, I'm like, really? <laughs> that's new. Yeah, it was like a lot of crazy. The funny thing about that, well, actually, <laughs> we get to that. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go was... back to that soon. It's <laughs> funny. It's funny I, that I you meant. We funny... talked about that last week too, <laughs> with that particular chapter, right? And now it seems very the timing relevant. Is like, wow, the timing, yeah, the timing seems more relevant than ever. We'll get to that right. We, well, actually, we should get to it right now because because this is the last part of the chapter where Yami got the cut and and the devil seems amused by his skills, the teamwork, which goes to show you the elf and the human can cooperate even oh. when they have. Even when they hate each other, they do have a good chemistry, which is cool. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, because then you got Yami just like, hmm, I wonder why that is. Then we cut over to Finro. <laughs> yeah, wow. The Yamcha of the series, as what Sparta likes to claim as. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he ain't wrong. <laughs> he ain't wrong. <laughs> Well, look at it this way, folks. I'm like Yamcha. Fenrir's got a girl waiting for him. Well, that's what, that's what we're hope. hoping. That's what we're hoping for. Because <laughs> who knows? Maybe you get the Yamcha of Dragon Ball Z Android Saga. Like, hey, he got lucky in Dragon Ball. Then you go to Android Saga. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Because <laughs> that could happen. That could happen. I hope not. That would be messed up. That would be cruel. I would feel bad for the person who interviewed um, Tabata with that whole, well, well give Fimro a chance. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. But what's, well, well, I'm hoping that's not the case. I mean, yeah, come on. He did it good enough right now. Yeah, he has the teleporting and he does, he does act cowardly at times, but there are moments that he deserves some credits. So this is one of them. <laughs> Right? It's actually kind of funny because he's like, yeah, all right, healing's finished. He's like, no, no, cuties, you mustn't do that. Show how we're safe. Save your some hostility. <laughs> and then you Nero. just say Nero. I know, like, Nero's like just popping in. And he's just like <laughs> pecking him on the head as if you were asked to. Like, what the hell's with this bird? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> like, what do you want? Uh, Nero, and and then the this, Megaton. This, this motherfucker decides to start talking. Like <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I mean, just look at that face, <laughs> that panel, just that panel. Like that face has been a troll face for the longest time. <laughs> Even in his own subreddit, has that damn face. I was like, okay, where were we, where are we doing with this now? I was like, I'm gonna change this icon to this face because I, I feel like doing that. Hey, he has horns. It's, it's meshed to my name in some form or way, you know. Sparta is the devil, the king of devil, whatever I was. The devil of Christ said, "That's I'm about to use that and be like, this is the pet bird named Sparta." There, <laughs> just change his coloring somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, this this, this troll decides to be like, "Yeah, take me to where the demon's bones are." As soon as he said that, I'm like, "What the? F I'm like, hold it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. You pulled a Nozel where you decided to show up at 194 and then dip for I don't know what's been like seven chapters. Yeah, he decides to be like, nope, I'm out of here. I'm like, you are. Yeah, just like just like the siren noise I'm hearing from the background of my 
on my own. I'm like, like, look at that. Even if even the police or puppy Anvis is going crazy, like, watch that neighbor is talking. Oh no, we gotta make a rest. <laughs> it's just oh, weird because I, I thought he, I thought he was going to where you know was going. That's what I thought. I, yeah, you know, you know, it's funny. Are they like treating him right now? The the like because like if you look at the panel i didn't even notice like so there's people out there just like try to help him out like finishing up right mm -hmm. like did that mean everybody just witnessed nero talking to him would it be something that everybody could hear or this is like a mind reading thing that coming from nero to finro only you know what i mean because like he has he he doesn't move his peck that's one thing <laughs> just that face <laughs> <laughs> <Damn face. laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe it's the eyes <laughs> but anyway but uh, but uh, like i said they're, they're treating finroll while he's still sleeping but um nero shows up pecking him and then you know he say that so is it like a mind reading thing or everybody can hear him like holy crap that bird could talk <laughs> i'm just wondering that <laughs> good question honestly because I, I just realized that people are actually with him more than just Finro and the other two uh, and, then, uh, and his brother, I think. Because like, they were like the only one that are on, on the ground just being ignored by other people. Well, for Finro, he was ignored completely by Black Bulls. Well, Black Bulls is just being awesome. <laughs> so there's that. But hey, look at the bright side. Now he, his relevancy increased tenfold because the Nero apparently wants him to take him to where the bones, the demon bones are at. So, hey, you got something that's, that Yancha doesn't have. Relevancy. So, kudos. <laughs> and where are the bones exactly? In Austin Yuno's hometown. That's a crazy thing. <laughs> this one is realizing that right now. I know. Now, this is actually getting interesting because this is all going to start to connect. And what makes it hilarious, mine is the fact is Nero with that face, <laughs> is, is the fact that the spoiler for two, chapter 200 actually indicated that Nero is the fact's ma first magic emperor and he, and he comes in a human form, stuff like that. Hey, it didn't happen here, but maybe it could set up for that because. Good. You know, the main, the big theory is Nero is actually the first magic emperor. And why he wants to go to the demon's bones is anyone guess. But, you know, the statue does have the fast, first magic emperor there. Maybe it's not a statue. Maybe it is him as a frozen state. That's what I, I was going to say. Maybe the reason why he wants to go there is because assuming it is the first wizard king. Which it seems more plausible now than ever. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's like, all right, so there's a statue of the Wizard King, but then you gotta wonder, like, well, if that's really the statue, then how did the people get that up on there? You know? Now that we're noticing that Nero can talk, and he's specifically like, take me to where the bones are. And I gotta be wondering, too. I'm like, well, okay. So, maybe he used some kind of spell. In the cost of using that spell, his body had to turn to stone. But maybe you could say his consciousness transferred over to another being. The bird <laughs> being Nero. It's like the most logic sense right now. The fact that he did something that turned to stone and his conscience went to a bird. Even though this bird has horns, which maybe it probably has an ex explanation. Kind of like how they have a, a pig in... Seven Deadly Sins, like, what's that about? But we already got the answer. I won't, I won't say it here. So, point is, there's got to be an answer to everything about this Nero bird with the horns. Maybe the horns is just maybe because the world itself has, like, a lot of strange remix of, of animals, kind of like Dragon Ball. Like, they have, like, a lot of different, diff different type of creatures. Yeah, they got Dinosaur, too, so there's that to think of. But... You know, it could be like that kind of case, or it could be the 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 you know the idea that's like there's a bird that has a horns for some reason. We should be wondering why this bird has a horn, but I don't know. I don't know how this universe really works with animals wise. So we'll see what happens. But um, 
I mean, it makes sense because demon bones, them fat, the first, the first took out the the demon. That was pretty much demonic demon horns, you know, something. <laughs> I'm just trying to throw everything out there. How much of a connection does Nero and the magic emperor and the demon that he fought could all tie in together? So we're going to find out a lot. Chapter, that was just the first page of the first chapter. That's the only thing we got out of that fight. Right. Exactly. So seems like we're going to get a lot of revelation for this one, at least for in terms of the flash, uh, the past. I I don't know if this will solve the mystery behind Asta and you know why they're like so special and the fact that Nero was following Asta for this long until now we get probably get a lot of explanation probably and I mean if we're following the tr- the say the similar trend of of the past what's it now three volumes Let me double check yeah so. If we're following that trend, we only got four more chapters up before this current volume finishes. So oh, really, uh, yeah, because this volume started with one ninety five, right? Yeah, and this and the last volume ends with one ninety four. So if you take that into account, it's already been seven chapters. Hmm. Which means. Something crazy has to happen because you have this, and like the last volume, you had the whole Charmy revelation thing, which I was like, which I'm still not exactly over, even though it's been some time since that chapter came out. That's true. Like, just when you think he manages to top something, he goes even further. Like, that's the one thing I've noticed about him when it, when it comes to the Sark. I mean, yeah. Like you say what you want, that yeah, it it's the it does it's the longest arc in the series thus far. But think of what we've gotten, like Noel's Valkyrie dress, the entire revelation with. I mean, it's it's not too. Uh, it, it wasn't like super shocking to say, but finding out that Vengeance was actually the leader, who then we then found that it was actually Patry. Yeah, it's, it was like a double dose of uh, plot twist. Like, because it's funny, because like when Vog, when Vargas, um, he showed his face before, you know, it felt like, okay, that's not him. He got a bad scar. I mean, you can still debate that it is him. But the twist is, it's technically, or at least spiritually, not him. Physically, it's him, but spiritually, not him. And so being, there's two souls in, within one body. And that's how the elf gets introduced and then, you know, enter this arc. So it's not like, hey, you you could never figure out that Vargas was this guy. Ha ha. You, I fool all you. It's more like, well, you know, if you guessed it, that's good for you. But there's a little more to it. And here's why. So, you know, it, it didn't rely too much on like, I am the evil one. I am the mastermind. <laughs> It was like much more com. It was like it was more complicated, and it made it better for me because it's like if you try to act like so evil and all that stuff, it's kind of it's kind of like uh. It's like I am the the usual. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. It's like uh, you know, the usual plot twist, and then all of a sudden the character becomes overly evil, over the top evil. You know, this is is no more of hiding my face, my mask. No more of that, which is always funny because it's like how much your how much of a difference of personality has to be when you get revealed. It just ha- like why it has to be so over the top all of a sudden. It's like but Toby. in this case, it's yeah, like when when Toby was revealed to be this guy, he was never the same as the 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 guy who was hiding behind the mask. Now he, all of a sudden he's more like I don't know something else. <laughs> so it just feels it, the aura just feels so different. It, I don't know why they have to do that, but in here it makes more sense because it's like it does transpire to the whole elf versus human war, and the whole reincarnation gets in, gets involved. The whole demonic hidden entity, a lot of crazy stuff. So yeah, we 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 have a lot of we have gone through a lot of stuff in this arc. That's for sure. It's not like an arc. 
that takes a long time to deal with one thing or to develop one thing. And a lot of developments are actually pretty um, important to many characters, the side characters included. A lot of side characters get the get the development they deserve, the the closure, um, a lot of new twists and turns, especially like the charming one. A lot of crazy stuff, and it all have been pretty damn, uh, pretty damn exciting. It's not like, oh, come on, get over with. It's not like how like the war arc for other series would be like, okay, why are you focusing on this guy who is pretty much there just to, I don't know, exposition or just there to take out one guy because he oh, happens guys to be. Like yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> like something like that. Like, that's always been a people's bother. Something like that. It's just like, we do we need this? Yeah, it's good to get some near National Geographic history lessons from these guys, but still, they don't really mean that much. So, I don't know. That, that's, just, that's just how people see it, or at least I see it in that war arc. And here, I'm getting like a lot more, and it always connects to one after another. It's like, okay, I finished taking care of this guy. But he apparently helped out the other guy. So I got to head over there right now before shit gets loose. And a lot of people gets their, again, a lot of people gets the development and they all, you know, they all match up well. They all like mesh up together, every other characters, like the Black Bulls. I never, I never like, like, okay, I, I seen them like a cool family before. Like they were starting to warm me up. They were, like before, like way back, uh, chapter 63 and under. You know, they were fine. They were cool. I don't know if they would get a lot of focus. I don't know if they would get a lot of screen time. And I was proven wrong. I was happy to be proven wrong. And then this arc, not only did they flesh them out, not only did they develop them even more, but they also make a great family. So not only they get a lot of development individually, but they also get a development as a whole. And I like stuff like that. I like when these characters does mean, so, mean something. Whether they mean it because they they're good in in their assets, or they or they mean it because they're like such a really f- nice characters that they get along with the the main protagonists, the main characters, the other characters. It's always nice to see uh, like chemistry being formed. So yeah, this arc does offer a lot, and now we're getting a lot more revelations. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot of new ones in the past chapters and now we're about to get more in the uh, upcoming ones maybe nine in the next one maybe it could be two chapters later but we'll see how much more creepy oh, no I, I can't say that because you because you know Tabat is gonna find a way to top this you, you know what's gonna happen it's just a matter of well, how is he gonna top it <laughs> that's the question you know you're the traitor no. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> You know, it's the trade all this time. You know, like, look, Asta, the, the truth is that devil, I've known about him for a very, very long time. Since before we became, I, I, if that happened, I'm going to be like, what, what? Oh, God. I knew, all, I knew everything about the devil. And by the way, our friendship was never a friendship. Our rivalry is always bloodthirsty rivalry. In other words, I want to kill you, not to defeat you. I'm going to take the magic in first so I could just um, uh, cause a new re- revolution. <laughs> uh, that would suck. <laughs> that would suck if that happened. I'm like, oh no, not another Sasuke. <laughs> no way. If that happens, I'm gonna be like, God damn it! <laughs> we, it we, dodged we, a lot. It dodged a lot so many times so far. And I'm happy for that. They dodge it when the, when the first chapter came out. They dodge it when the tournament happened. They dodge it when uh, uh, not Asta. Yuna was possessed by the the elf, and instead he's like, "Nope, I'm I I we're gonna stay well on your side, Asta, because I, I want to be the magic happened. emperor." I was like, "Oh God!" I'm like, "Please, whatever you do, do not don't go that." You know, the funny thing. <laughs> the funny thing is, I would have been okay with it because at least it has logic. It was like, okay, it's not his fault. It, he was possessed. I mean, yeah, we've gone to that route, but but at least he's possessed. He's not like, ah, oh, I'm going to be a total prick right now because I'm the rival of the character of the protagonist. I'm going to be come that way now. No, instead, not only he got possessed, he reversed that and he still wanted to be 
the rivalry in a healthy way. So I was like, oh, that's that's actually a pretty cool twist. Phew. <laughs> you know. It's like to bottom you looking at Naruto like I am not is like, all right, tips on how to write rivals. Not like that. Or he probably looked at my hero too, like, okay, let's see how Deku and Bakugo are. Um Okay. No. <laughs> not doing that one either. Mmm. Gray and Natsu. <laughs> well, they're friendly, though. They're not like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Uh, well, aside for one moment, one moment, but. Yeah. So. <laughs> I didn't even know the animus got to that moment. It went, maybe it is. I mean, it could it could happen in the future. The bloodthirsty, the bloodthirst rivalry between Asta and you know, but it has to be like in a in an understandable circumstance, rather than like, well, I just uh, decided to become evil because I don't know, I just want to become evil. Let's not forget, you know, can technically gain five leaf clover because he's a fourth leaf clover user. Oh, that so. is true, yeah, because that is established now. <laughs> Yeah, that that's a that's a yeah exactly. It's established that way. The world, it all depends how can you get it. I don't know how can you get it. Maybe it'd be the similar as Patuli with the despair, but it could be something else. Who knows? But just got to keep that in mind that he can get one. He just had to fall down, fall downhill so hard. But we'll see in that future if it does happen. He, he here's how it'll happen. He sees Charmy. He starts having feelings for her. <laughs> they, start, they start having a somewhat of a relationship and then Charmy dies like straight up oh my god I can't even I try to imagine Charmy death scene it's like I just imagine like the most peaceful death scene of all time ah oh, you die but I would live with my food forever then again so, 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 a somewhat similar character did have that tragic fate I'm not gonna name it but it was pretty um Hard to accept that. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, wow." <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is, it's still hard to imagine Charmy with a a very sad scene. I mean, hey, it could still happen. Like, like again, after this arc, maybe there will be a character arc with her because she is a dwarf, half dwarf. Maybe we will see more detail about the the about her race. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Anything is possible. Maybe she will be like something, a dramatic character. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see in that future. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to Bada can do. There is certainly a lot that he can do. But, I mean, the other thing we can, we can go into is predictions for the next chapter. Which, okay, g- given how we well, got the troll face himself just talking like, hey, take me to the demon's place. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to assume we're going to go there next chapter. That's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're going to go there first. If not, the majority of the chapter will be there. Maybe we'll see Noel because it has been. A bit of time since we saw her. Not gonna make it a joke, but <laughs> yes. I'm still hoping her to show up. I mean, like it's bound to something bound to happen. Like, like I feel like there's a gathering that's going to happen soon. Oh yeah, especially when the devil is pretty damn broken right now. So we'll see. There's that. Who else is that? Yeah, Charmy's in too. He's and you know, funny enough, like Point Goleon and Mariliona haven't been haven't been shown in a while either. That's the other thing. You're right. <laughs> I just remembered that. I was like, wow, yeah, it's been a while since we've seen them too. We gotta see the siblings. We gotta see Noel, Charmy. And then we got the of course the Asta, you know, Patoli and Reha and um Mimosa. Damn, that's a lot of characters. <laughs> <laughs> and hell, maybe we'll have special guests because Charlotte was certainly was one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's here. Awesome. I get uh actually not guess. It is awesome. <laughs> oh. You got her um, you got Jack the Ripper. Who's teaming up with no yeah. people, which I'm still like, huh. 
what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just well. Oh, I guess this will confirm one thing, which I I should mention because they because uh, one of the users or users actually asked me if the if because of Potoli got the five leaf clover and then he was possessed to dark elf. Does that mean the other elves that was under resurrection due to his magic also got dark elves entity as well? And it seems like that's a case of no, because Charlotte wasn't affected. So if she wasn't affected, that means everybody else will be okay. Everybody else will be just still be elf. I guess maybe if Potoli decided to use a dark energy on them, it could happen. I don't know. I I kind of doubt it to be honest i think it's just only on the user which is patoli so everyone else is just remain unaffected by the 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 up, updated status of his so there you go there's your confirmation uh unless i'm unless i get debunked in the next chapter like oh look fauna is a dark elf too oops <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> Veto is dark elf. Now he's even more despair. <laughs> despair. <laughs> Could you imagine him saying that? Like it's, it's like it's like Veto sees the devil. He's just like despair, despair, despair. I'm like totally sitting there going like, you know, I've heard you say <laughs> before, but since you're on our side, uh, keep the despair chat going. Just, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, like. I like I I'm just curious if everybody would actually show up to where the devil's at, the top floor pretty much. Right now, the the main mission is to not let him go outside at all and just kill him right there. Somehow, some way. I'm just wondering if they all gather up, that's like crap load of character going against one devil. But hey, if it if, if that's what it takes to defeat one, so be it. You know, that 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 also brings up an interesting question. I mean, you know, with all of them there, they're probably going to take him. They're probably going to defeat him. But do you think that's going to be enough to kill him? Question See, that's why I'm wondering. Yeah. See, that's why I'm wondering because he was not killed. He was defeated, but not killed. He was just defeated and sealed. How can you kill it? It never said. They try to find out. That was the whole. That was the idea with the first first Magic Emperor and. Uh, Lich, but they never found it. At least to my knowledge, they never found it. Maybe that sword that Asta has is part of part of a way to do it, but it's not really addressed until maybe when they all gather up in that top floor. Maybe that's when they will probably say, like, hey, look, that sword you have, I have to make that I have to make that sword in order for him to be defeated, to get killed once and for all. I don't know. But that's my only guess. Maybe they would have to reseal them, but what is the way to reseal them at this point? I will say, like, as far as where we're at at the arc right now, I mean, you could say we're already like at the final phase of it. That's, I mean, you 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 can pretty much just tell, like, just looking at it, like, okay, so we've seen where everything has gone so far. We see the devil is here, and again. The only thing we really need now is just the gathering of like all the characters. Get Noel, get Jack the Ripper, get Fuegolion, Mariliana, get Aston the gang, and of course Fenrir's gonna show up with Nero. Potentially the first Magic Emperor, which seems more plausible now than it's ever been before. And who knows, maybe, maybe my theory could be right in the fact that, you know, that's actually the first Wither King's body, but, you know, he had to perform some kind of spell, and his soul, if you will, had to transfer over to, like, another body, being Nero. But, I mean, there's a lot we could go on with when it comes to, to Black Clover, but I think in terms of the chapter and where we currently stand, I think we've covered everything, unless... I'm missing something important. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. It's like a fun action uh, from Lich to the devil and a fun action from Yami and Charlotte to the devil. It's pretty straightforward, but it was entertaining nonetheless. And then the last part of the last page, 
is like, what the what? <laughs> so <laughs> right. He, we pretty much cover everything. But yeah, I thought this chapter was pretty um entertaining. It was fun because of the actions. The art is always good. Um, you know, I'm happy to see Yami. I was surprised to see Charlotte, but I'm I'm welcome it. Um where does how this is all going to end is still beyond me because right now the idea is to stop the devil before he escaped that room. As the the other characters, we're still hoping to see the other characters. I mean, we're we're getting to see Asta. We just don't know with Noel, Charmy, and other characters out there. Uh, as for Nero, well, you know, <laughs> yeah. After all that theories or memes or I don't know if you really was really serious about it. Well, here we are. We're going to the serious territory, and it's really happening. Will it happen in the next chapter? My best guess is this. It probably start off Finro being shocked beyond belief that he was he's talking because who would it be is talking to him. Um he probably teleports Nero to the set place. And then we probably gonna wait until maybe the chapter after that, and then we go back to what's going on with the devil and Yami. Maybe you start seeing other characters. Maybe they start stop fighting each other and start lying because the idea is the human and elf should, should stop fighting and start working together to take out the devil before it gets all before the world will actually see hell itself. So that's my best guess. Like we probably stop where Nero and Finro goes out, go out to the demon's bones at, and then we go back to the battle. And maybe we get some uh, clues that we're probably going to see, like more of the gathering scene. But we'll see. Oh, we will definitely see about that. I mean, in terms of my reading on the chapter, I gave it an amazing. I, I thought, you know, yeah, it was, it was kind of simple. It was pretty straightforward. But it's not a bad thing. I mean, not every chapter has to be super crazy. Even though you could say this chapter did have it at the very end, because Nero was like, "Hey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Mandarin. Now. I'm the final boss. <laughs> what if he um, ends up being a bad guy instead of?" <laughs> I'm sorry. He's like, he's just like, "Asta, you want to know what happened to your father? I am your father." Oh God, no! <laughs> Pull a Darth Vader twist on us, why don't you? <laughs> But yeah, overall, like, uh, what's your stance on the chapter, Sparta? Well, um, like I said, I thought it was pretty entertaining. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's straightforward, but it has a fun action from both sides. Um, I really like the art because it's like, damn, how you could draw all those vines? How you could draw all those crazy attacks? All the crazy, a lot of things, particles just going bonkers. Like, so many swords, so many things is happening all in one panel, all in one page. And then the last page is like, huh. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good chapter. And no breaks. <laughs> I'm still surprised by that. He's a working machine. I'm still going by. <laughs> right. He's going to keep working and working and working. And eventually it's going to come to a point where he's going to have like a mechanical arms and be like, all right, keep plugging out chapters like that. But for the time being, you guys, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to this Black Clover podcast. Sparta, it was really great having you on board for another Black Clover podcast, especially especially with what we've had to deal with today. I mean, considering that we had this chapter and then we also had the big shocking thing for Star Wars 2. I mean, (laughs) yeah. That is true. That is true. Forward, like I said, all I can imagine right now is Nero is actually Palpatine of this of this universe. He's gonna be like laughing. He's like, "Oh, you took me to the you took me to the demons' bones." Well, I got bad news. You thought I was the first Magic Emperor? I'm actually the demon of that bone. <laughs> okay, it could happen. I'm just giving you. Some, I'm just giving you more theories. How would you feel? Well, I'll, 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 I'll probably, I don't know, um, I'll, I'll literally shit bricks, <laughs> like real bricks. 
I don't know. I, I'll, I'll probably lose my head. <laughs> I'll probably, I'll probably actually start changing every icons, every, every uh, social media. Like you just have me with Nero face all day. <laughs> So for a week, I would just have Nero faces, my Tumblr, my Twitter, my YouTube channel, and it would be everywhere. Like, look at that Nero. Enjoy that face. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> what about you? What would you do if that were to happen? If that were to happen? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I would be sitting there going like, huh. I really need to discuss this over on the podcast just to just to let out all my thoughts. Be like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this, but maybe maybe when once we get this revelation and we have to do the podcast, I could let out all my thoughts there. Whether it's good or bad is yet to be determined. But that would kind of be where my stance would lie if if that were to happen. I'd be like, Asta, watch your six. Cause that bird ain't trusty. <laughs> Not one bit. <laughs> Aside from the guys, that is pretty much it. I'm looking to seven. Sparta three G, and we will catch you guys next time. Whether we find out that Nero is actually the first Wizard King, which is plausible, or if he is indeed. That very villain, that <laughs> yeah, the very demon that the Wizard King defeated. Pick your the true team. final boss, the true <laughs> final boss, or the savior of what's currently going on right now. Pick your sides and debate in the comments below if you guys want to <laughs> cause a civil war. If you want to, no, I'm not saying go that. <laughs> no, don't go that far. <laughs> no need to go that far, but do leave your thoughts. And until then, guys, we'll catch you next time.